Hello guys, welcome to Tech GKS. My name is Rohit and you're watching Tech GKS. In this video, I'm going to show you guys how to fix black screen issue for OBS Studio, especially for game capturing. I already made a video on how to fix black screen issue for OBS Studio display capture and you can find the video here. I'll put the link for this video in the description you can find it from there or I will put as a card in the right top corner anyway so for this video I got a mixed review actually I went through all the negative comments and I understood the problem was mine because I put game capture here and this fix won't work for game capture so I did my research and find out the solution and I thought I should share it with you guys because it's my responsibility okay anyway let's jump straight into the tutorial so first you need to open nvidia control panel you can open it by go to search and type nvidia control panel here or you can simply just right click and select nvidia control panel from this thing i don't know what is that called it's called context menu i think if you guys know just comment below what is that thing anyway once you are in this section uh, you can go to this configure surround physics okay this is not the section you need to go before we jump into the solution i need to give you a little bit context about the actual problem here so for that we need to go to configure surround physics and here you can see that uh, this laptop display is been rendered that means the windows or the laptop monitor is been rendered by the help of intel graphics card so actually if you're having dual graphics card then your windows or your display is being rendered by the help of your integrated graphics that is intel graphics card okay for physics based game physics based application let's take example of games or 3d simulations or 3d modeling tools things like that been using uh, been used by gtx 1060 in your case it may be different but it's external graphics card. so high graphic processing applications are running the, with the help of 1060 my external graphics card in my case okay so the problem is here we need to set up our obs studio to use either external graphics card or the internal graphics card for example if you want to do this laptop display capture then you need to set up your obs studio for intel graphics card and if you want to record your game your streaming whatever if you want to do some 3d project something like that then you need to use your then you need to set up your obs studio for your external graphics card okay so that is the theory that is the problem real problem here so the solution is pretty simple all you need to do is just go to this manage 3d settings and here you can find a tab called program settings there click on that tab and that tab will open and in this first section that is select a program to customize you need to select obs studio i already selected obs studio but if you can't find your obs studio in this list you can click on this add button and then you can find a select a program from this list and here i can find my obs studio here uh, but if you can find here also then you can click on this browse and uh, by default it will be your obs studio will be installed to this location that is windows c program files obs studio bin 64 bit obs dot exe this is the executable file for obs studio if you can't find here also that means you need to install obs studio first actually kidding guys it may be in some other directory you can find it uh, by yourself anyway once you find out where your obs studio exe file is in my case it's already there in the drop down list so i can select it from here itself so once that is done uh, you need to go to the second option by default if you haven't changed anything uh, then by default it will be like this that is use global settings auto select integrated okay i'll give you a context about what is this option actually there are a couple of options i'll give you uh, what is this option sir I'll, I'll explain what these options are so basically the first option is auto select which is uh, pretty straightforward that means we are giving the control to nvidia control panel to select which graphic processor that obs studio uh, can be accessed at that specific time okay for example uh, nvidia control panel decide hey obs studio you can use integrated graphics right now and oh, sometimes uh, this 
control panel can say hey ob studio you can use this external graphics card but guys uh, my recommendation is not uh, go with that because you can't rely on uh, nvidia control panel every time so i i always recommend you guys to use manual switching okay so here you can see two other options that is high performance nvidia processor and the other one is integrated process graphics okay so high performance nvidia processor is uh, used when you want to capture some video some capture some gameplay or you want to stream some gameplay something like anything related to gaming you need to select this high performance nvidia processor but if you want to make a video something similar to this one which i am right now capturing my monitor uh, in that case you can select this integrated graphics so for display capturing you need to select this integrated graphics and for game capturing you need to select high performance nvidia processor as this video is about how to fix back screen issue for game capturing i need to select this option so i'm going to select this high performance nvidia processor and then the last step is uh, don't forget to click on this apply button i always forget to do that so once that is done it may take a little bit time to do the background works and after everything is done uh, you can close this okay so once that is done that's it guys no more steps you are finished like you are completed the thing and now you can freely stream whatever game you want or you can record the game but before that i need to show you a proof right so let me open my obs studio first so if you want to do something like this if you want to record your game or you want to stream something then you need to open your obs studio first before even you open your game okay so once that is done you can minimize your obs studio you can open any game for example i'm going to open pes 2019 and it's been loading let's just give it some time till the game loads okay it's been loading it's take a little bit of time okay guys so it's loaded now we can see the logo that is konami and that's once that's done you can go to obs studio you, as you can see i already have that here but if you can find it here maybe you haven't set up your game capture and all those things in that case uh, what you need to do is you may already have a scene if you don't have it then click on this plus and add a scene uh, once the scene is added you need to add a source click on this plus and go to game capture and click on ok then from this mode selection drop down you can go with this capture any full screen application but i prefer you to select this capture specific window and once that is selected you can find something called windows there is a one more drop down select that windows drop down and from this windows drop down select the game that you want in my case it's pro evolution soccer 2019 click on it okay now itself you can see the game here click on okay and as you can see right now the game is been uh, working right now but if you can't find the game now also then you need to go back to the game and then just minimize the game and come back and it's there it will be there for sure okay so i hope this video helped you if you have any more problems regarding this then you can go straight to the comment section and comment below i'll be there to help you guys uh, for sure before you dislike please comment your problems let me try to fix those problems and uh, i hope this video helped you if this video helped you please uh, please do uh, like this video and comment your suggestions on the comment section how can i improve these videos anyway uh, i hope you guys enjoyed this video thanks for watching and me rohit signing off see you soon in another video